Hi, I'm John Joanna and welcome to Ridgeway Butchery. Hi, it's John Joanna from Ridgeway Butchery again. Today we're going to do the oxtails. Very, very nice piece of meat. Stews, curries, beautiful piece of meat. And the uh, amazing story about the oxtail is that uh, in the old days, no one wanted to buy this, no one wanted to eat it, so the butchers would debone as much as they want, as much as they could. So they debone the meat to put it into a mince or a horse, and then they just cut up the bones. And what happened over time is um, the people from the cities would go back home, and the farmers would take the oxtail off and make a stew. And all of a sudden, they come back to the cities, and it became very, very popular. So in the old days, this oxtail used to come on the piece of beef and the butcher would just cut it off because no one wanted it. So the wholesalers found that it had become so popular that they started cutting it off the beef and they'd box it and they'd sell it three or four times more than that with, with the whole carcass of beef. Um, it is a fatty piece of meat, but we're going to trim off the fat and we're going to cut through the bone and we're going to display it. This honestly is probably one of the most popular pieces of meat in my butchery. Uh, I can never really get enough. I buy boxes and boxes of this and I, I sell every weekend. I sell a heck of a lot and once again it's also very seasonal obviously in winter but funny enough it's all throughout the year from January to December but obviously more in the winter months. So we're going to start with this and once again I keep going back to South African beef. This is pure South African beef um, and it is super. You do get South African beef which is B and C grade but you can see that from the fat. When the fat becomes yellow you know that it's an older piece of beef. This is a young beef, you can see the fat is white. We're going to trim some of that fat off and we're going to put it in the, in the dis display tray and we'll show you how we cut it. So here's your oxtail. As we said, we're going to take off a bit of that fat, a bit of that excess fat. We're just going to remove it. Funny story about the oxtail. The first time I saw my dad cutting oxtail, I was very young. And I thought he had the sharpest knife in the world. Because he'd take the oxtail like that and just cut straight through. And I picked up the knife and I tried to cut it and I was doing this, making the knife blunt. The secret is to find the joint. There's always a joint, you find the joint, you cut it straight through. It's like cutting your finger, you're either gonna cut on the bone or through the joint. If you find that joint, you cut straight through. So the secret is to find the joint. Sometimes there's a little bone, you just push it down and it goes straight through. If I cut it there, I'm gonna cut the whole day because I'm cutting on a bone. Only way I'm gonna cut through there is if I put on the bandsaw. If I find the joint, it goes straight through. Now once again, I keep going on about South African beef because I absolutely love South African beef. Don't know if you guys can see that oxtail there. You can travel to the four corners of the world. You're not gonna get better. You might get as good, but you sure as heck are not going to get better. And that's basically your waste from the oxtails. You can't cut that. That's all sinew and bone and fat. So that's we discard. This oxtail has a bit more fat on the head. We're just going to cut it off. Beautiful oxtail. The second one, as we said, not as lean as the first one. I have a friend, his name is Nico. Probably makes the best oxtail between him and my mother I've ever had. So, Nico, it's time you make me some oxtail again. So what we do is we mix it up. It's also not fair 
on the second customer if the first customer comes in and gets all the meaty pieces and the bony pieces are left for the second customer. So now we've got all the meaty pieces in. So all we do is we take the smaller ones, there's always little pockets, we fill the pockets up and when the blockman or whoever's serving the customer, he just grabs and you'll get a healthy mix of the bigger ones and the smaller ones. We always fill up these pockets, you'll see it fills up beautifully. There you have your three ox styles. As I said earlier, in a previous video, you never really have to sell good quality meat. Good quality meat will always sell itself. Those ox styles are absolutely beautiful.